A wildly successful 19th straight regatta ends today, here where it started at the 1 degree 15 marina. Gusty and breezy weather prevailed today, so participating sailors need to give it their all in the very last day of the event. The first categories to start racing were the IRC A and B, and the PY classes. They were followed by the one design categories, and then the really fast SB20 boats. And last but not least, the even faster trimaran boats. Today's schedule called for a coastal race along the shore of Singapore, with all classes starting out in front of the approach bay area, then heading upwind towards the east coast of Singapore and the SF Yacht Club. From there, the second coastal race would commence, which would essentially involve boats returning back to Approach Bay where they started. The long upwind leg would be more like a drag race, not much manoeuvring would be required. This time, boat speed would be the most crucial factor in winning the race. When strong winds are the order of the day, the effort put together by the crew has not only to do with technique, it is also about hiking hard, keeping the boat as flat as possible. The job of the skipper, on the other hand, becomes quite demanding. They need to still be taking all advantage of all the wind shifts and gusts in order to make their boat sail even faster. Soon, all classes reached the finish line, and after a brief wait, the downwind leg began in earnest. But now speeds were increasing dramatically. All spinnakers were hoisted and everyone was having a blast sailing in these conditions, aiming to return to approach bay as fast as was possible. Though the wind was not very consistent, partly because of those high-rise buildings and skyscrapers present in this part of the Singaporean coast, nonetheless the battles were fierce. Especially those between the SB20s. These boats were getting so close to each other for the most part of the race that the tension got palpable for spectators and sailors alike. This offered some amazing moments in this competition. Another Straits Regatta came to an end, with nearly all races completed with breezy conditions and every day being different and exciting. This event in Singapore is one of the most important dates in the sailing calendar for Southeast Asia particularly, not least as it forms the last stop of the Sir Thomas Lipton Trophy, following the Raja Muda International Regatta and the King's Cup. Of those three anchors to the Asian sailing circuit, the Straits Regatta is perhaps, if not the most important, then the most dramatic and exciting. It all ends here and all the sailors each year really give it all they have. This year too, the regatta had a splendid finale, courtesy of the organizers. The awards ceremony brought together all the athletes and strong memories of these thrilling past four days in Singapore and Batam Island. And, of course, you can't have too much of a good thing, yet another one of those fun races followed the ceremony, and then it was really time to start partying. And on that note, it's goodbye from Singapore. Thanks for being with us.